Hi, this is Tim with Shop Tour Reviews. Stick around in a few seconds. We're going to see if SK's six paw ratchet design equals less strength. So these are the SK X frame ratcheting wrenches, and they come in a metric set as well as an SAE set. Uh, the metric set comes in everything from an 8 millimeter all the way up to a 19 millimeter without skipping any sizes. So you get 12 wrenches. And then the SAE comes in everything from a 3 8 all the way up to a 3 quarters, and that includes 11 16 as well. But it is only a seven piece kit. So the difference in SK's ratcheting wrenches versus the competition is their six paw design. And that gives them a 1.7 degree swing arc, which is the least in the industry. So they're the only ratchet wrench that has that 1.7 degree swing arc. And really and truly, when I first heard about this wrench, I thought, you know, if we're getting down to a 1.7 degree swing arc, are we really getting teeth that small? Uh, is this a dual paw design? Is this a single paw design? And then obviously they released what their technology was, and that is a six paw design. It's very interesting how it works because actually two of the paws are engaging all the time and those paws are opposite of one another. And so each time you hear a click, if you can even turn it that small, that's different paws that are actually engaging and locking that tool in. The question was, is it actually a weaker tool because of that six paw design or because of that 1.7 degree swing arc, or you can call it 216 different positions? And really the final answer is no. It's actually a stronger set or as strong as any of the others that are out there. And I would believe probably stronger than a single paw design because in that single paw design, you're putting all that pressure on one side. Whereas this six paw design, it's actually taking that pressure and putting it across opposing sides. So again, spreading out that torque or spreading out uh, the, the bind on that tool, if you will. On the open end of the wrench, you get the sure grip technology, which is basically you can see in here where you have a little raised area here on the flat edge. And it's also down here in these two edges as well. So it's not just on the open jaws of the wrench, but it's also down here in the body. And so it will grip that bolt even on the open end on four different sides. That's the idea anyway. Uh, so on the open end, you also get some added grip, if you will, than your standard wrench. Looking at these wrenches, they look very beefy. They look very strong. Uh, they call it their I-beam design. Looking at them before feeling them and holding them, I was wondering, you know, it's a really kind of boxy look, if you will. And I'm wondering if it's going to be uncomfortable to the hand. And after using them, they're really not. It looks like there's a sharp edge on this, but it really doesn't bite into your hand. Do you notice it versus a slim wrench? Yes, but then again, on a slim wrench as well, when, when the body's slim, those tend to kind of cut into your, into your fingertips as well. So no different than any other, you know, well-branded wrench uh, that I've used, was there a difference in uh, that sharp edge, if you will, it maybe looks like it has a sharp edge cutting into your hand. So comfortable wrench to use. Now, on the box end, there's no offset to it. So there's no angle to it. Uh, it's just a really flat wrench. And again, I thought that maybe that would come as a negative. Didn't notice that. Used it on intake bolts. A lot of times that's where you think maybe you need some offset. Uh, used it on some ex exhaust manifold bolts. Didn't have any problem on those. There were areas that maybe I could have gotten better on an offset, but at the same time, a flat wrench like this is going to be better in some areas where that offset will not. So I think there's some give and take there. Again, can't be negative on it, it's not a bad thing. Still very interested in how this technology works, and I've seen the schematics, I've seen the breakdowns, as you can see here, but I wanted to take one apart for myself, so I, I took one of these wrenches. So you can see how, how the paws are sitting to that wrench, and then if I take this out of here, Again, I thought even with the six paw design that I would see some little coil springs that may be backed up on the back of these that pressed up against the body, but that's not what happens. You have these, uh, the spring here that goes in the body and actually pushes this paw up the ramp here to engage those teeth. 
I'm just always interested to, to know how their technology works, how these ratchet wrenches work. And that's a really neat design. Uh, it makes sense, it makes total sense. And now I understand how in such a small area they're able to get that 1.7 degree swing art or that 216 position wrench without having microscopic teeth there. So you see, you still get some bite in that wrench with those different paws. Each time we click, two opposing paws here, they're engaging those teeth in that body. And then once you move it, then it'll be the, a different set of teeth, but always the opposing paws that are engaging in that wrench. So the technology's there, at least on paper, to support the fact that this could be as strong a wrench as anything else or even stronger. But we want to do our own testing to ensure that these wrenches and the paw design as well as the open-ended features are strong enough for the fasteners that we use day in and day out. So we set up a bench test uh, with a, a 3 8 bolt with a 9 16 inch head, which is a typical fastener we use every day. The maximum torque that is recommended on a grade eight bolt that's three eighths in diameter is actually 44 foot pounds. So I thought, you know, we'll take our torque wrench, we'll torque this down to 44 foot pounds, and then we'll see if we can use the, both the open end and the closed end ratchet to actually, you know, further fasten that bolt or further stretch that bolt. So then we know we're taking it beyond the means of actually a grade eight bolt anyway, uh, and then obviously break those loose with the corresponding ends as well. You can see here that it was very successful, had no problems at all. The open end of the wrench did work well. It bit into the sides of the bolt, not rounding the edges off. And you can see that this is a used grade eight bolt. And I did that on purpose, not for strength issues, but more so to use a head that's had a few wrenches, a few sockets put on it, and it's not brand new with nice clean edges and everything. And the wrench still bit into it just fine. And obviously on the six point design here, it's gonna grab better than say a 12 point or a, a spline type design as well. Uh, now, are you gonna get a little less fasteners with a six point? Yes, so there's some give and take there as well. You're not gonna get the six point on any of your newer style fasteners, such as a triple square or a spline design, if you will, or any kind of torque set or anything, or reverse torques. But for your typical uh, six sided bolts, this is an excellent design. Very strong wrench, feels very good in the hand, got good weight to it. You can't beat it, made in the USA, and lifetime warranty on these ratchet wrenches. You can't go wrong in that department. You can find these online, the metric set, the 12 wrench set, it's gonna cost you about $235. Uh, the seven piece SAE set, it's gonna cost you about $135. You get that lifetime warranty, so that is still a very good value. So check them out for yourself. It's the SK X-Frame Ratcheting Wrenches, and the metric set is part number 8019. And the SAE part number is part number 8049. Please keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Have a great day.